See you later. Hello everybody. Today is Boxing Day and we are going to go to Rakai Gorge and go for a swim. Ooga, ooga, ooga. <laughs> gorge um, I'm still kind of getting used to angles of this camera I'll do it like I normally would um, we went swimming we jumped in the river it was amazing really liked it really chilled really nice little boxing day sort of swim boxing day swim um, it's been really 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 sunny today um, but we came back and now I'm having to go shopping for our weekly shop and I thought I'd film it because why not, you know? Um, show you kind of what we get in New Zealand each week. Um, maybe the cost difference. Thought that would be quite interesting to do. So I have come to New World. Usually we go to Countdown. Those are the two main supermarkets in New Zealand. Um, but it's shut. Um, so it'll be interesting as well to see what um, the differences between both shops actually. But New World still has everything we need. Um, it's still a really, really good shop. Um, so yeah. Let's go. Food shop is all done. Um, oh gosh, I will say I think I do prefer Countdown. I think it is. There's just a lot more choice. I did manage to get most things I normally get anyway, but I do just prefer it. Um, I think it reminds me a bit more of Tesco at home, and this, um don't know what i guess the equivalent is probably sainsbury's it wasn't too bad price wise um and i did um before i went in um sign up to their club sort of club card um but i do prefer countdown they have their own club card um so you can still get deals the prices are fairly similar but i think overall i would say it's the better one i know some people one of my friends said they just they've never really been to countdown i thought it's the better one New World isn't isn't that great, I don't think. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Everybody has their own opinions about it all. Yeah. Let's head back. I also got dinner, so we're gonna have a sort of takeaway sort of dinner. Um, and that is the plan for today. A very weird boxing day for me. I was banished from the kitchen. He's playing Call of Duty. I need to stop looking at that screen and not the camera. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you what I got. How much it cost all together. It's very, very hot in here, so I'm going to have to take my cardigan off. Um, so first off, this is all of like fridge and meat sort of stuff. So got these sweet chili chicken sandwich fillers. They come in two little packs, one pint kind of per sandwich. So I've got those, those are really good. I got some garlic bread for um dinner. Basically, the garlic bread here is not like sliced baguette. Like that's just not a thing out here. Like either chia batters or literally just like a roll with garlic. So that's what we're dealing with. Chorizo. I did buy. So this is going to keep focusing and not focusing. Did buy some camembert. Um, that wasn't too expensive either. But I fancied having it one night. Just even like New Year's Eve, like having camembert, putting a bit of red onion chutney and eating that up. I got some. The collective yogurt, we do have this in the UK. Um, it's just some Greek yogurt that I have for breakfast. Frozen broccoli, I found frozen stuff is actually cheaper 
than actually buying fresh stuff and it's easier as well. Bacon. Uh, bacon is very, very different. Um, so the, what we have at home, which is the normal sort of bacon, is called smoked, or not smoked, middle eye bacon and they usually have streaky. I bought both streaky and middle eye. Um, the middle eye bacon we usually have for like sandwiches or bacon butties but the streaky bacon I'm going to wrap like it in chicken um, so it's good for stuff like that. Cheese! Cheese is different especially cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese is so much better in the UK I but we've got this grated tasty light. Um, the, we only really use grated cheese we don't really have it in sandwiches so we just put this in like pasta and stuff find it much easier especially because we work late in terms of meat meat quality is quite different um i found this brand hellas is the best one for us that in terms of flavors similar to the uk um so i've got some beef burgers um and then i also got some country pork sausages sausages especially are very very different if you want a good brand um Hella's country pork sausages taste the most like home out of anyone's, any of the ones we've tried. And I got some meatballs, again super easy. And then I got some chicken, they've actually put it in a bag for me. But I just got some free range chicken. And then got some whipped cream because I'm in a whipped cream hot chocolate kind of mood at the moment even though it's summer. Um, but I fancy it now and again in these last ages. Seasoned wedges, which we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Um, they actually look really good. And um, they had a lot of chips and wedges choice. Going into kind of store cupboardy stuff. Crisps, packets of crisps. I've got bluebirds, which is kind of like walkers for us at home, and then these sort of kettle chips, honey soy chicken. These will last us probably the week, um, because of lunches. But there's quite a good selection in terms of crisps. I then got these crunchies um shapes is kind of a big thing out here they're like crackers um almost like ritz but more flavors um but i thought we'd try these for a change but those are always really good for lunch boxes and got packet of rice they have uncle ben's they have tilda they have the normal brands and we prefer these again because ease wise we can just pop these in the microwave rather than cooking and cooking way more than we actually need and then got these pea snaps i really really like these again kind of a healthy little snack um but they have a lot of selection and flavors of these apple juice then got some noodles just in case we do want to last minute do like a stir fry bisto gravy only the best found it in the british isle and i also got heinz baked beans um it does say english recipe and got some penguins these i found on offer and i thought why not treat ourselves to some penguins you know baby wipes because we use those at work i i do anyway in the tractor and some deodorant this is kind of like fresh produce you get some burger buns for the burgers spinach celery this is what celery comes like in new zealand a whole one you can't get small ones <laughs> bananas pink lady apples i then got courgette pepper cucumber and then I've got asparagus, new potatoes, baked potato, sweet potato. Some bread, Weetabix bites, which Finn likes. Um, these massive pack of cookie bars, these will last us like probably in the next two, three weeks. And then a big family pizza for our dinner to share. That's everything I got. I'm gonna tell you the amount it came to. Altogether that came to $234.48. So that is around probably 110 pounds approximately maybe 120 depending on the exchange rate um which really for a weekly shop that isn't too bad that will last us the whole week um i would say at home i'd probably only spend 60 70 pound for two of us a week maybe a little bit more because of the choice of supermarkets we have value supermarkets more expensive but that is a weekly shop in new zealand and in typical early fashion, I didn't finish this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, a little bit of a different one, part of vlog and part showing you what a weekly shop is in New Zealand. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe down below. I've got some many more videos uh, coming your way very soon. Um, and with my new camera, I've got very excited in making a lot of videos. So make sure you keep updated with that. Apart from that, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.